Okay, so in my management console, I'm going to go to EC2. And in EC2, I'm going to go to instances and I will create an instance. So I will launch an instance and I will choose Amazon Linux 2. That's perfect. I'll select this one, T2 Micro, because it's free tier legible. Instance details, I will leave everything as is. This is perfect. Click on next, add storage. And here we can see now that we've been skipping this all along, but our root volume is going to be dev xvda. And it's eight gigabytes in size and it's a GP2 volume, but I could choose IO1 if I wanted to. And here we get some information about IOPS. We'll get more details on this later and throughputs. And there's a tick box saying delete on termination. So when our instance gets deleted, the volume will get deleted as well. Now let's play and add a new volume. We're going to add an EBS volume. Uh, device is where you want to attach it. So the point of attachment, we'll just use dev sdb. And we could use a snapshot to restore from, but for now we don't know what snapshots are, so we'll just forget about it. We'll say two gigabyte in size, and it's going to be a GP2 volume. And I can say encrypted, not encrypted, but right now I will say not encrypted. I could tick the box delete on termination, but I don't want to, so I'll leave delete on termination unticked. As you can see, when you're a free tier eligible customer, you can get up to 30 gigabytes of EBS uh, volume for free, so it's kind of neat. All right, next at tags, I'm fine with this. Um, I will maybe add a tag and say name EBS demo just to have one tag and then click on next configure security group. Uh, I'll just select a one, maybe AWS SSH, uh, the one we have, which is great, which allows me to SSH into it, review and launch, and then I will just launch it. In terms of key pair, I'll choose my AWS course key pair and click on launch instances. So now what this happened is that we have created an EC2 instance and it has two EBS volumes attached to it. So if we look at the bottom right, right here, the root device is dev xvda and the block devices are dev xvda and dev sdb. So here is my second EBS volumes that was attached. If we go to volumes on the bottom left, we can see that we have two volumes right here. They inherited the name tag EBS demo. The first one is going to be the root volume. It's eight gigabyte in size. And the second one is going to be uh, the volume that I created, the two gigabyte in size. And they're both in the same availability zone, EU West 1B, which is the exact same AZ where my instance is. And so here we are starting to get a good idea of how things work. Um, now we can go into this instance and maybe SSH into it just to have a look at a few things. So I will run the SSH command and I will add the IP of my machine. Here I am, I am in. And so let's see what it is. So what the, something you have to do is called LSPLK. And this shows you basically all the attached drives. So we have egg, uh, XVDA, which is our eight gigabytes EBS volume that is mounted onto slash. So that's our root volume. And then we have XVDB, which is two gigabytes. And that's our added EBS volume. And right now it's not formatted. It's not mounted anywhere, so we can't access it. So I'll just show you how to do this. For this, no secret, we have to go to the Amazon documentation because this is the kind of things that you don't remember on the spot. And so it just shows you how to do making an ABS volume available for use on Linux. So let's go and scroll down. LSBLK is what you run, is to see all the disk available. So we do see that XVDB has been attached. Then we scroll down and we do sudo file minus S on the device. So sudo file minus S on the device. So dev XVDB. And this gives us data. So when we get data, that means that there is no file system on the device and we must create one. And then we go to step four. In case there was a file system, we will get this kind of output right here. So let's go to step four to basically format this file system and we'll create a X4 file system for the volume. So for this, we'll do sudo makefs minus t X4 and then the device name. So let's do this right now, sudo make fs minus t, t is x4, so x4 is just a way of formatting the volume, and then dev xvdb. Okay, excellent, it's done. So you get a lot of output, and now we need to mount our directory, maybe in a data folder. So we'll create sudo make dir and then data, so we have created a data folder. And then we're going to do sudo mount the device name, which is dev xvdb onto the data folder. Done. So now let's have a look at how this works. If we do lsblk, now we can see that our xvdb drive 
has been mounted to the data folder. And so if I go to the data folder, uh, to the data folder with the forward slash, and then I will just sudo touch hello.txt. Here, I just have a hello.txt file being uh, created on my drive. So pretty cool. And we can just say um, sudo nano hello.txt just to edit that file. And I'll just say hello world. And I'll exit, save, yes. Okay, so as we can see now in my hello.txt file, there's hello world, and that file directly lives on my second EBS volume, which is quite cool. So uh, optionally, you can mount this EBS volume on every system reboot. And for this, we need to add a entry to etc fstab. So we'll just back up etc fstab. I'll just copy this command right here. Okay, now we're going to open this etc fstab, and then we're going to add some information. So for this, I'll do sudo nano etc fstab. And here, basically, you need to add a line. So we need to add the device name, the mount point, the file system type, and some information. So let's go ahead and do it. Dev x vdb. Then the mount point is going to be slash data. The file system type is going to be x4. And then the mount options is something we can just get from here. So we'll just copy this default no file 0 02. And that's a bit simpler. And we're done. Exit and save. Okay, now we're done. And now basically on reboot of our instance, our disk is going to be automatically mounted to slash data. So we can verify this by just catting this file and looking at the fact that yes, all looks good. All right. So next, what we can do as we scroll down is to basically verify that our file system has been formatted. So let's do this, we can do um, sudo file minus s dev xvdb. And this now says that our xvdb uh, EBS volume is now x4 file system data. Quite cool, quite interesting. And yeah, we're, we're pretty uh, okay with this. Now we can just uh, unmount data. So we'll do sudo unmount, so umount slash data. And that's basically to, and because I'm in the wrong directory, let's do it again. sudo umount slash data. Now my drive has been unmounted. So if I do lsblk, now we can see that my drive is unmounted. And now if I do sudo mount minus a, we're going to test our fstab file. It worked. And then lsblk, yes, the mount point is now data. So that's it. It's just a little bit of stuff to do, but uh, I think it's quite a cool way of seeing how to attach an EBS volume and format it. It's something that you should be knowing as a sysops. It's not something that they might ask you in the exam, but always good to know these things. It helps on your understanding. So that's it for the intro to EBS. I will see you in the next lecture.